You hear ambulances, people calling for help. Our best friend is dying on the concrete. It was terrible. The latest victim is a 15-year-old girl, a high school honor student, gunned down while trying to take shelter from the rain. She was a majorette, and just last weekend, she was in Washington, D.C., performing at the inauguration. She was a good student, got good grades, had a lot of friends, you know? She was so nice, and she was so funny and smart. The month following her death, we don't know. It was a whirlwind, it was a blur. I think the fact that our heart hurts so much, that's the reason why we're motivated to get in the movement. It was high ideas for us. They wanted to make people more aware that, you know, gun violence exists. The first time we asked people to wear orange, we went out all around Chicago, and we passed the T-shirts out and the buttons out. We got a lot of support from people all around the world, all around the city. We adopted orange because of Hunter's Orange. Hunters, they wear bright colors so that they're not targets. The orange lets everyone know I'm here. You know, I'm, I'm here, I'm standing out. It can be seen from both near and far. When the sun hits it, it gets brighter. And I think it's beautiful. I think it will save lives. I'm wearing orange for idea. I'm wearing orange for idea. I wear orange so that no other parent has to lose a child. I'm wearing orange because I'm a grandparent who cares about the future of his grandchildren. I wear orange for my sister Nina and for the countless others who are killed by gun violence every day. We wear orange because gun violence affects the whole family. I'm wearing orange for my son Noah. I wear orange because I lost my 14-year-old son Akil Christopher to gun violence. I wear orange because gun violence is going to continue if good people continue to do nothing. <laughs>